welcome to your favorite segment, Extravaganza. Well, I am Angela Lawrence, your humble presenter, and I promise to give you lots of lots of sweet delicacies today. And with me in the house today, I have a guest, nobody but Shegzi Cool. He's a designer, well, a well-known designer who has used his profession to actually touch the lives of people, to actually help him in building his own professionalism you get now all those many many talks let me not bore you more but let's go to the guest of today hello hi so how did you come up with the name Shexy cool actually the Shexy is coined from uh, my real name Shagun and um, the cool is actually gotten from my nature I'm a kind of gentle and cool person so when did this whole thing start for you um it all started um few years back like um, seven eight years to be precise I I started with um, modeling when I used to go to castings then I was um 2003 2002 I normally designed for myself like make my clothes because I, I was I was born by a woman that actually had flair for fashion and she was a designer she stopped when I was 13 so do you design alone or you sew as well? I, I design, which is sketching. I sew. I, I do wardrobe consulting. I do image consulting. And um, I am a creative director as well. So what other designers have you worked with, per se? Actually, I have worked with a few designers. I've worked with Waju Couture. I've worked with uh, Anjori, I've worked with um, Michael Hype, I, I've, I consult uh, my Atafo, he's a very big designer in Nigeria and in Africa, but we've not worked together by consulting because I seem like a mentor and um, some couple of other designers, I can't really figure out their names. What are the concepts of your designs like? Is it the musical video types or the fashion show types? Okay, um, I'm known for for musical for musical video for the media because I I tend to design for artists, celebrities to be precise. I design more, so I tend to be known for that for media and uh, not not really runway. Yeah. What artists have you actually designed for? Well. Wow. I've, um, I've designed for Two-Face, I've designed for Vector, I've designed for Earthquake, I've designed for LKT, I've designed for Chief Adewali Ayuba, I've designed for Aki Alabi, I've designed for Benita Okoje, I've designed for a couple of them, I can't really remember, yeah. And I'm the official clothier for Adewali Ayuba, Earthquake and LKT. How do you actually find time in mixing up those many, many other things that you do? Um, I will say, when you ask someone that, um, how do you do this, how do you do that, how do you get time to do this, and the person says, well, I find, I tend to squeeze myself to do this, to do that, I feel that sounds lazy to me, I feel that's lazy. If you have passion for something, you shouldn't it shouldn't sound like okay it's uh, I don't have time I don't do because I have no other thing I do apart from designing I am a graduate I'm a fresh graduate from uh, Redeemers University why didn't you like go to do something that is related to your course why did you choose designing actually um, designing is not something I actually wanted to do but I'm happy doing it now like I said earlier on I I used to make stuff for myself and friends were like, Shegzi, I want you to do this for me. And because of the number of demands from people wanting me to do stuff for them, I had to go into it professionally and I've been happy doing it. For example now, you're being given 10 million naira per se to go work and, and they say you have to drop everything about design, you just leave it, but work. What would you do? Would you go to the work or you stay? Um, obviously, I would reject the offer. Do you have somebody you look on to? Yes, I do, and that's my mom. Yeah. Chief of uh, Mrs. Ijiwande Folashadi. She's, she's my mentor. She's my everything because um, 
when I see her, I see fashion. Mm. When I see her, I, I feel encouraged. When I hear from her, I feel loved. Wow. When I see her, I see the passion I have for fashion. I know you've worked with several artists, designers and all that, but do you have an artist that you, while working with him or her, you never had a problem at all? The person is easy going and all that. Yes, I never had any problem with any artist, but the, the, all my artists are great, like all the artists that I worked with are great, but the most humble artist I've ever worked with was Two Face. If you have the chance to get stalked in an elevator, which celebrity would you want to get stalked with? Um, the female celebrity I would like to get stalked with should be. Omotela. What other designers do you intend to work with? Well, um, I intend to work with um, Ajayi Silva. I've not worked with Maya Tafu, even if I've spoken to him before. Mm -hmm. I would like to work with Maya Tafu too as well. well. What's your advice to your people at home that actually look up to you and want to be like you? My advice for those that would like to be like Sheikh Zikul and not me, I would like to, to tell them to hold on to God, know God, love God, and um, be, be focused in whatever thing they do. And you have heard from the wonderful Sheikh Zikul. He's cool, and he? We have come to the end of today's segment. Keep watching Extravaganza because we bring to you lots and lots of goodies that will make you relax, comfortable, entertained. I remain your humble presenter, Angela Lawrence. Our Twitter handle and all the ways you can contact us is showing on the screen right now. You can reach us, share your views, tell us what you feel about the program. If you want to participate, you can also feel free to come. And that will be all for today.